Auto driving, one of the most intellectual advancements of humanity. Teslas do it. Going straight into this game, this game is actually really confusing. I'll talk about that later because it's really hard to get the autopilot to work. I get it. I get it's a great way to make Roblox, but I said it was free, but it's like fully self-driving. You need to like pay Robux for it and I'm not doing that today. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to spawn our car, Model 3. Ooh, Model 3. I've always wanted a Tesla, to be honest. You'll probably cringe at me like, ah, uh, don't, don't worry about the owner, but oh my god. Do, do you see this? This is animation, out animating this. Look, look, it has like a road. Like, if I, if I make a pinpoint in the car, will it like go to the landmark? Like, but I'm pretty sure it's not completely available because it's not completely working. There probably is a way to make it work, but I probably have to get the game pass for that. But it gives you a navigation map, which is I'm pretty sure as far as we're going to get in the autopilot. This is one of the reasons why it won't work properly in Roblox. It like recognizes the speed sign and like mainly like indicates you on the stuff it has more than actually like working like a normal autopilot. It's not gonna be like autopilot in real life though. Autopilot would be a sick game idea, like an actual game, autopilot without paying, like just like fully workable. So a while back, I actually saw like autopilot in Southwest Florida, which is definitely real, but it was pretty crazy to be honest until I found out it was a joke. So if I, if I slow down, what I've noticed, it keeps you on the road. Like while you're driving, it drives you to the direction. Like it kind of steers you out of the way, like if you're in danger. So if I just keep on going, right, it doesn't do anything. But like as soon as you get like to the line on the road, which is red, the autopilot's controlled. So if you like go here, it actually gets controls, which is I found really cool. It kind of keeps you on the road, but you still have to like press down on the clutch and then let go every time which I find a bit irritating, but it keeps you on your own side of the road so you don't crash into anyone. Anyway, that's all. This is a short video. That's all I really want to show you. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.